Hello and welcome back to Preston's Guild Hall for part two of the graduation live show. We're here at the Preston's Guild Hall today uh, to celebrate the last day of the graduation week for the University of Central Lancashire. Uh, my name is Sana Iqbal and I'm the president of the Students' Union. So my job is to represent students and to make sure that they have the best possible experience while they're here. So we've had quite a fantastic week with over 4,000 students who have graduated and we've had eight honorary fellowships, one this afternoon. And, and as you can see, I'm in my very own cap and gown uh, because I'll be giving the speech later this afternoon. But before I do, we've got some time to go through and reflect on the week and speak to a few of the different um, guests. Uh, and you can, you can engage with the show by using the hashtag UCLANGraduates um, or leave a comment below and we'll try and read them at the end of the show. Uh, so we'd like to give you an idea of the size and scale of graduation um, at the Guild Hall. So we'll now pass over to our digital services team and hopefully some of the cameramen can give us uh, a bit of a wave. Okay, so that's Adam on camera too. Hi, Adam, give us a wave. Oh, Ad Adam doesn't want to give us a wave. And, and this is camera two. We've got Chris. Hey, Chris. And we've got six cameras throughout the hall. There's one there that looks at all the auditory, and that's where the platforms sit. And this is the big wide one to make sure you capture all of the action uh, when the students cross the stage and graduate. So uh, now it's time for our first guest of the show, and I'd like to welcome uh, Sarah Warren, who is from the University's Alumni Association. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Hi, Sana. So um, what does your job involve? Right, I'm responsible for stakeholder development. So my team look after alumni relations, stakeholder management, uh, we look after corporate events. So as you can imagine, this has been Busy one time. of our busiest weeks. So what have we been up to this week? So this week we have been looking after our honorary fellows, mm -hmm. um, old and new. Um, we have also been looking after our special guests. So we've had mayors, we've had councillors, we've had friends of the show, um, lots of VIPs that want to be involved in the ceremony. We've been gowning the procession party yes, have. and we have been helping you as well, Sana. Um, and we have also been involved in the after show party for our graduates back at the Students' Union. Mm -hmm. And what's, what, what's some of the things that's been involved in the Students' Union this year? So this afternoon, um, all our graduates can go back to the SU and they can get involved in. We've got a photo booth, we've got picnic boxes, we've got live entertainment. And that's we've all got, free, right? Yeah. yeah. We like to spoil our graduates. Definitely. Definitely. So uh, what can graduates do to stay in touch with the university? Well, there's loads of ways to stay in touch. So we've got UCLan Connect, which mm -hmm. is our online platform for uh, connecting with friends and staff and other alumni. Obviously, all of the social media channels, yep. use those. And Brothers, if you move on, um, do keep us in touch with changes of email addresses, changes of house addresses, and we can keep you updated with what's going on. That's fantastic. So obviously, lots of students, they study undergrad courses here. But what advice would you give to students who want to study postgrad? I think your journey doesn't have to end um, now. You can do postgraduate taught. You can do part-time postgraduate. You can do research. Uh, degrees, lots of different options, and I think there's some bursaries and um, funds available um, for, for our alumni as well, so it's worth looking into that if you want to continue your studies, definitely. All right, brilliant. And uh, what's been your highlight of this week? Oh, for me personally, I absolutely adore this room. Yeah. Um, we've been involved in making the stage look pretty, so that, that's down to us. Um, but I love seeing our graduates looking so smart. Smart, so yeah. proud. and I love seeing parents with photos of the selfies. It's been absolutely lovely. Well, thank you very much for your time, Sarah. We'll let you get on with your busy job. Thank you. Thank you. So our next guest of the show is Lily Green, and uh, she graduated on Tuesday, I believe. Welcome to the show, Lily. Hi, Sunny. You okay? I am. How are you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it feel to graduate on Tuesday? Uh, it was honestly incredible. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Yeah. It was honestly just so good. It was so emotional. Uh, everyone was there, seeing all your friends again, and their families as well. So it was great oh. seeing their support networks. It was lovely. That's really nice. And um, who do you think has influenced you the most while you've been at university? Um, definitely friends. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them, you know, had babies or had other things happening outside of their course, and mm -hmm. they did absolutely amazing on the course still. Yeah. Um, so they were obviously inspirational. Um, but also some lecturers as well that were really good. So they're still passionate about uh, their subjects and mm -hmm. even if it was yeast um, <laughs> they're still passionate about it and it's always great to see that and they're a great scientists so yeah. it's something you're despite to be that's so it's wonderful that's really nice and um, 
What advice would you give to the graduates who are celebrating today or to the ones that have graduated in the week? Get yourself some really good photos <laughs> to remember this by. Um, but honestly, just have a really good kind of celebration. It's been a massive achievement to graduate, yeah. uh, especially for a lot of students when we've had a lot of other things going on as well for ourselves. So. Yeah. Um, it really is a great milestone and people should really celebrate it. Oh, that's fantastic. And last, last question, uh, so you're going to be campaigns officer next year. Could um, you give us a quick little three step, what you're going to do? Three steps? Well, <laughs> um, I really want to help students kind of exert their human rights um, and really get involved with the SU mm -hmm. and know how they can make change throughout university. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to make campaigns that are long lasting and truly effective yeah. and really impactful for our students mm -hmm. um, and make sure that they're intersectional as well and make sure they're actually including the people that we need to be including um, like at the table. To, sounds like a lot to include in the year. We yes. wish you all the best with your yeah. year in office. So thank, thank you very you. much for joining yes. us. <laughs> so um, we've got I think a bit of time for some tweets if uh, we show some of them. Have you got them there, Alistair? Yep, great. So we've got uh, we've got at Rob Lee 59 who said uh, who was a sports journalism student. Unbelievable, taking me four years to get to this point after starting the long road to foundation year. Would I do it again in a heartbeat? Well, all the best, Rob. That was fantastic. Uh, we've got B Nix, Rebecca Nixon, uh, who's a fine arts student. I feel like I want to cry, but I've got fake eyelashes on. We've all, we've all been there, Rebecca. We've all been there. And uh, Catherine West, a parent and Labour MP. Heart bursting with pride as my son graduates from UCLan, sun shone in the northwest today. Well, that's fantastic, and that's the kind of pride that we instill in all of our students, and we are very proud to see them graduate today. Uh, a couple more, we've got Chloe Crabagan and Charlotte Lancaster from TV Production, who are also fantastic Pulse Media volunteers, and they've said, UCLan has brought us out of our shells and made us more confident individuals. Well, I can definitely stand testimony to that. And uh, just before we finish, we've got a fantastic opportunity for a few last words from our Chancellor, Ranveer Singh. Welcome to the show, Ranveer. Hi, I think you're after my job, Sana. You're doing far I'm, too I'm well. Def I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favourite part of graduation? Oh my God, I love the whole thing. <laughs> I, I love sort of waiting in the background and being able to see all the families coming in and everyone trying to hush their kids and yeah. everyone trying to look out for their, you know, son or daughter who's waiting to go up. And yeah. I really, and I love it when the choir come on because I always yeah. think that. You know, you sort of contain yourself, and you think this is lovely. When the choir come on, you're so awkward first with pride, so I could cry. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I love it. And it's it. fantastic that they're all students studying here yeah, as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's a beautiful sound that they make. And so, I know you've got your speech later on, but what advice would you give to the graduates who are graduating today or who have graduated throughout the week? Well, look, I would always just say, as I said earlier, is that, you know, it can be quite a long and daunting prospect, actually, when you look at your career and you think where you want to go. And you won't always get it right the first time, and I certainly haven't. But the thing is, don't be don't be dismayed by that. Yeah. Understand that the bad days are just part of your learning. That's part yeah. of what it is, and it doesn't mean you've made a wrong decision. Mm -hmm. You know, you trust your instincts. Mm -hmm. Always trust your instincts because you know where you're heading, and and you'll get there. You'll get there. You just have to believe in yourself a little bit, and actually trust the people around you. Find someone you really admire, yeah. emulate them, go for that, and actually just n don't let go of that little dream you've got. Don't let go, yeah. even if it seems it's getting further away. It's just not. keep going. Yeah, keep going. That's fantastic. Well, we've uh, both got to go, so we can join the platform party uh, but thank you so much for joining us You're welcome. we'll let you go because we know you need to get yeah, into your thanks. position thank you so that's it from me and that's the end of our graduation live shows a big thank you to everyone who has helped organize this and make it possible um, a final congratulations to everyone who's graduated uh, this week don't forget to send us those cap and gown selfies uh, with hashtag you can graduates um, head over to the students union where there's lots more fun to have and we can continue the celebration with you uh, I've got to go, but next time you'll see me is on stage giving the speech on behalf of students. Uh, from everyone here, thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye. <laughs>